Fab Lab Baltimore. So um, it's part of a whole network of public digital fabrication labs. So the model was started out of MIT. And the idea is, um, is that it's a really accessible and affordable makerspace. So people come in, they take a really quick introduction course that costs you know, like under $100, and then they're allowed to just come back and use all the equipment to work on whatever they want. So prototypes for stuff, or art, or just, you know, whatever they want. Yep, or see just a regular hand router or a table router. It's like that, it's like a router bit but inside of a robot. So same as what you're doing with the laser where you're just drawing and you're sending your file to the machine. Um, you're doing that, but instead of cutting with a laser, you have a route of it. So I guess here's a good question for you then, uh, Bill, is how could we and when I say we, you both as professional machinists, whether educator or you know hobbyists, um, and myself being you know in, involved in the industry, how can we bring the youth, right, the up and coming guys, the kids, students in your class, or the youth, you know, in, in Votech schools here in the city, how can we get them more involved in this industry? We got to teach them that this isn't a dirty word, and and I think we have to teach them too what manufacturing is. The student will start off on the manual side. Um, they need to know how to cut metal, speeds and feeds, what tooling to use, help them with the setups, all that kind of stuff. As they go through, what they're going to do is progress up to the CNC machines. So they're going to learn programming, blueprint reading, geometric tolerancing, math skills, all the whole gamut. And then in the programming, and we have uh, uh, two different CAM packages that we teach here to, we also teach quality assurance. We also teach fabrication. So it's a pretty wide gamut of, of classes that we take. So tell us a little bit what you do now at Isometry. Um, I'm a machinist on second shift. I'm also the shift supervisor, uh, me and one other guy. Uh, we've gone through other people too, but it's really just been me and him for like the past three years. He came from CCBC as well. Um, um, is there <clears throat> anything specific that you really like or love about this industry, this job? Was it something you are glad yeah, you did, it's awesome. you regret it? No, yeah. <laughs> becoming a machinist is like the best thing I've ever done. Yeah, I love being a machinist. <laughs> I, I can tell, no, you, you definitely have a lot of pride in, uh, in yeah. what you do.